Hello friends, today we shall discuss commercial vehicles for payment design. What is a commercial vehicle? A commercial vehicle is a vehicle that is licensed to be used for the transportation of goods or materials and in some cases they can also transport passengers. For example, a three-wheeler. A three-wheeler can be categorized into both cargo as well as passenger. And there are six main types of commercial vehicles. One is tippers. A tipper is a truck having a rear platform that can be raised at its front end to discharge the load. Trucks. There are several types of trucks. This is the standard truck where the front axle contains two wheels, one on either side and the rear axle has four wheels, two on either side. Then it can be trailer trucks also, where you have a truck unit and a trailer unit separately. And there can be different configuration, wheel configurations for a truck trailer depending upon its size. Mini trucks are used for transportation of either goods or sometimes even passenger also. And same is the case with pickup van. Pickup van or auto, they are used for cargo as well as for passengers. Transit mixer is a multi-purpose device that is used to transport concrete mortar from a concrete batch plant. So these are six types of commercial vehicles which are broadly classified in India. IRC 37 2018 which is the code on design of flexible payments defines a commercial vehicles having a gross laden weight of 3 ton or more and these are the vehicles which are considered for the design of payments. Now three terms are important here unladen weight, payload and laden weight or gross vehicle weight. Unladen weight is the weight of a vehicle when it is not carrying any passenger, goods or any other item. So this is the weight of chassis, cabin and load body or trailer weight. And it also includes weight of 90% capacity of the tank filled with diesel and all the consumables like engine oil, gear oil, etc. at the top of level. It also includes the weight of the crew members. So in nutshell, unladen weight is the weight of the empty truck or empty vehicle with all its accessories plus weight of its driver and cleaner that is crew members. The payload is the load which a vehicle can carry legally and this gross vehicle weight will be unladen weight plus payload. And number of wheels in a vehicle depends upon this gross vehicle weight. Now depending upon the gross vehicle weight Central Motor Vehicle Rules categorizes commercial vehicles in India in different categories and subcategories. For the gross vehicle weight of less than or equal to 3.5 ton, it is categorized as N1 in a subcategory of N1A. For gross vehicle weight between 3.5 ton and 7.5 tons, it is N2 or N2A. 7.5 to 12 tons, it is N2 and categorized, subcategorized as N2B. For a gross vehicle weight of the vehicle more than 12 ton but less than or equal to 18.5 ton, it is a 2 XL rigid truck then it is N3A and if the it is multi XL rigid truck then it is N3B and it will have the weight up to 28 tons. Multi axle rigid truck is also categorized as N3C and its weight is 28 to 49 tons. And when it is 30 to 55 tons, then it is also multi axle rigid truck categorized as N3 tractor. This is a tractor trailer unit. And all vehicles, yeah, all trucks from 18.5 ton to 55 ton comes under medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment. Now this is a single axle with single tires on both sides and the safe 
axle load is 65 kilo newton similarly this axle it has four wheels single axle with dual tires on either side and its limit or safe limit is 80 kilo newton same is the case with tandem axle tandem axle with dual tire has eight wheels and 148 kilo newton is the limit of the axle load and same is the case with the tridem axle with the dual wheel on either side now here you have 12 wheels and the total load safe load on this tridem axle is 224 kilo newton ministry of road transport and highways in october 1996 has issued a notification where the maximum safe axle weight of each axle of commercial vehicles have been defined as per rule 95 of central motor vehicle rules 1989 and these weights are like this that in case of a two axle where the front axle has a single wheel and two tires on the rear axle so sim similar to your auto so single wheel will have three tons on front axle and rear axle which has two wheel two tires it will have six tons so total weight will be nine tons two axle vehicle where you have two tires on each axle the front axle as well as rear axle and the safe maximum axle weight on each axle will be 6 tons and total cross vehicle weight will be 12 ton similarly two tires on the front axle and four tires on rear axle which is a standard truck now here the load defined is 10.2 ton on the rear axle and on the front axle it will remain same 6 ton so total gross vehicle weight will be 16.2 tons now three axles when you have three axles then three axles are defined like this that two tires on the front axle that is six tons and eight tires on rear tandem axle now the tandem axle can have a safe load of 19 tons so that makes 25 tons similarly for four axles it can be 31 tons and semi articulated vehicles can be 626.4 or 30.52 or maybe even higher depending upon the wheel configuration now that is how the load is calculated as per notification of ministry of road transport and highways of october 18 1996 now this is a four tire trucks where the front axle has two tires one on each side and the rear axle also has two tires one on each side now the total gross vehicle weight of this will be 6 ton for the front axle and 6 ton for the rear axle total 12 tons that is the maximum gross vehicle weight similarly this is a standard truck with 6 tires 2 tires in the front and 4 tires that is dual wheel assembly at the rear so the total gross vehicle weight for this truck will be 6 tons for the front axle and 10.2 ton for the rear axle that is 16.2 ton same is the case with the 10 tire which is a 3 axle truck so the front axle can have 6 tons and this tandem axle here which has 8 wheels can have 19 tons so total is 25 tons and if it is a 3 axle truck with 3 axle trailer 2 plus 4 is the truck that means 2 tires here in the first axle and four tires on the second axle and then this is the trailer where you have these four axles and eight four wheels and eight wheels so the total weight here can be six plus 10.2 plus 10.2 for this and 19 for these eight week eight wheels that is 44 point 45.4 tons so that is how the the safe gross vehicle weight is estimated for different wheel configuration now these weights have recently been revised by ministry of road transport and highways through a notification published in july 2018 and this is the table now six truck six tire truck where you have two 
tires in the front and four that is dual wheel assembly in the rear the earlier gross vehicle weight was 16.2 ton it has been enhanced to 19 ton with a 5% tolerance and that means the maximum gross weight of the vehicle can be up to 19.95 tons. Similarly for 10 tire multi axle trucks where the front axle has two wheels and this there are two axles of four wheels each. So here the total the present limit of gross vehicle weight is 25 tons it has been revised to 28.5 ton with a 5% tolerance it can be up to 29.925 tons. For 12 tire single chassis rigid truck earlier it was 31 ton it has been revised 36 and it can go up to 37.8 tons. Now this is a 14 tire single chassis truck. Now here you have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4. Now this is the first axle with single wheel on either side, second axle in the front, again the single wheel on either side, third axle in the trailer that is single wheel and then four wheels and four wheels. So if you add all these loads it is 37 tons as per old notification. It has been revised to 43.5 tons and with the 5% tolerance it can be up to 45,675 tons. Similarly 12 tire single changes rigid truck can be either of this type or it can be of this type. There is a small difference between these two. The number of tires is same. The total load to be carried or gross vehicle weight are same. Other categories, five categories, 14 tire single chassis rigid truck, 14 tire semi trailer, 18 tire semi trailer, 18 tire semi trailer and 22 tire semi trailer. This is the wheel configuration and these are the present limit. They have been revised in July 2018 to this limit with a 5% tolerance. It can go up to these values. So that is how commercial vehicles are defined and these are the vehicles which are taken or which are considered in the design of flexible payment. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt, any question, you can write in the comment box.